hello and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making soap so i'm not actually making one ring like i said i would in my last video that's going to come soon i just haven't sorted out the blend because i need to tweak it slightly so today we are making high priestess soap so this is a restock and here it is here because i've already made it if you can stay tuned to see how this was made so this one is a part of my witchcraft collection and it's an essential oil blend with a French pink clay and then a neutral base and then on the top I've sprinkled some hibiscus petals and the blend in this is patchouli, frankincense, vetiver, rose geranium and ylang ylang. So if you want to get your hands on the blend and all the ratios I'll list it below in my Etsy um, and in there will be um, sort of instructions on how much you need to use in certain products and things like that. I know I have a lot of my viewers who really struggle with blending essential oils, so I'm going to start listing a few bits and pieces, so some of these blends you'll be able to get hold of. So stay tuned and we'll get to making it. Okay, I've got you aimed so you can see the lie going in, because this is not a clear bucket. So in the lye mixture is the yarrow infusion, which has made it sort of like this pea colour. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that in. So in this one, I'm only using some French pink clay here. And then... On the top, I'm going to put on some hibiscus flowers. The last time I made this, I actually ground these and put them inside the soap, but I don't really want it to be exfoliating. I want it to be like a nice smooth bath. So in this one, I just use the pink clay and then as like part of it is neutral, which I sort of make a kind of swirl, but not really. It's just a little drop swirl kind of thing. So I'm just going to stick down this up so you can see that happen. Okay, that's sort of emulsified enough to pour some off of this. So I've just got a small jug here which I'm just going to use to pour off a little bit. So I've got a light contrast in colours. It really doesn't need too much, it's just a little, just a little difference. Just to add some interest so it's not just one colour. So, I'm not going to use any additional colours in that, just a neutral soap. So in this, I'm going to put my pink clay and I'm going to slowly blend that in. Okay, so we're now ready to put our essential oils in. Yummy. I'm not going to put any in the other one because I want the colour to sort of stay neutral. And the vetiver can darken this quite a lot, so just be careful mixing it in but make sure it's mixed in thoroughly I just don't want to stick blend it at this point because I don't want it to go too thick lovely it's such a beautiful beautiful blend it's earthy and it's floral and it's 
just got a real sort of oldie worldy feel to it it's just beautiful so if you like earthy blends with a little floral quite pungent from that vetiver then try that one Do a little texturing on the tops of these. It thickens up underneath quicker than on the very top, so I will have to work a little quicker just to get some texture in there. But overall, it's a good blend that uh, you can have a little time with. Just I have used a water discount in my soap today, and I've used 30% discount. So I've taken 30% of the required water out of the soap. It just helps to speed up the uh, cure time and helps to eliminate soda ash. That's why I always do a water discount. Always. This one's quite loose because there's more of that um, unscented, uncoloured soap. So wh wherever that is, it means this mixture is going to stay a lot more fluid for longer. It's always tricky. Okay, do for that, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle on. Okay, time to cut then. I've already cut a couple of these just um, to the side of me there, but 
I've got one left to cut and I want to see if uh, it's any different inside because there's not much of a swirl. As you remember, I only dropped in this uh, neutral shade, so there ain't a lot going on inside the bars. It's more about the, uh, the purpose and meaning behind these witchcraft bars. These have been so popular on the website, I've uh, ended up having to restock them all. So if you're interested in these, you can buy them on the website. Not all of them are available at the moment. I'm just going through my list of uh, production and trying to get things made. So this one uh, just sold out and I should have made it a while ago, but I didn't get round to it. So here we go. So today is Friday and I went all day yesterday thinking it was Wednesday so today is a bit of a shock that it's the weekend tomorrow. I'm glad of it because I'm pretty tired actually. You only get that twitching in your eyes. I think it's when you're tired, like over tired and I've been getting that this week. So I think I just need to sit and read for the weekend and chill out. But I do have things to do at home so we've been painting one of our rooms downstairs and I need to finish it because it's doing my head in. We ran out of paint so I went and bought more paint and then I've not done it now. So I need to get on that. So let's have a look at this one. I'm just going to cut it on its side so I don't get drag marks because there's that hibiscus on the top of there. Okay. There's not a lot happening. Actually, for not having coloured that, it's pretty white, isn't it? That base colour. So yeah, there's only little bits of white look. Very, very pretty colour. That's a French pink clay I used. I've used the Aussie pink clay and it comes out quite a dusky rose, whereas this is a proper sort of pastel, pastel rose shade. It's very, very nice. I really like this. And the scent is just beautiful. It's got everything you want really. It's got the floral and the earthiness. Really good all round natural bar of soap. So at the moment on Netflix, <laughs> not done one of these videos for a long time, I'm watching The Housewives of Beverly Hills, believe it or not. I'm not really into trashy programmes, but that one is the only Housewives one that I'll watch, <laughs> even though it's just a complete bitch fest. It's not, um, it's not the nicest show, but I kind of like it. It kind of takes you off into a different realm. <laughs> I've nearly finished, I think. I've nearly finished watching that series. Um, another thing I watched this week was um, a film starring Jean Tierney and it was called Leave Her to Heaven and it was made in 1946. It's actually here on YouTube so if you really like old movies and you like um, old vintage style makeup, like for real though because it was 1946, it's beautiful. Oh, hang on. Okay, sorry. My sister came to visit me then, so we just, I've just gone for a second. So where was I? I think I was talking about... Um, I was talking <laughs> about that film. That's it, yes. Leave Her to Heaven. Now, the film went in a direction that I absolutely was not expecting it to. It was very, 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 very good. And at the moment, I'm reading East of Eden by John Steinbeck. And funny enough, the story really reminded me of Kathy in that book. If you've read East of Eden, then you'll know who Kathy is. And the character in that film just I had these visions and thinking, this sounds like Kathy in East of Eden. She is such a nasty, oh, lost a flower, nasty piece of work. So if you've never read East of Eden, I can highly, highly recommend that. And um, each month at the moment, I'm doing a monthly um, 
Hello, it's my dog having a drink. A monthly newsletter where I share my favourite Netflix, my favourite TV, my favourite book, my favourite Instagram uh, account and things like that. So if you want to sign up for the newsletter, then you can do so on my website. And that's always listed in the description box below. So yeah, come and join the fun there because I share a lot more and it's sometimes nice to just read it rather than hear me prattle on on a video. <laughs> So come and sign up for the newsletter and you can, um, yeah, get my favourites. So I do a monthly favourites and then there's just the emails that I send every now and again for release news, if there's stock updates or new releases for like the seasons and things like that. So it's not spammy. I just, um, yeah, send out emails every now and again so you won't get bombarded because there's nothing worse than that. Okay. So there we go, that's High Priestess. So like I say, if you want the blend for this, then that'll be listed below. And if you want to buy this soap, then that'll be available mid-April. Just keep a nose, keep your nose on the, um, keep your nose, keep your eyes on the website and you will find it mid-April. So there's lots of other ones available at the moment, so check it out. And I will see you for the next video very, very soon. Ta-ta.